Hello everyone, this is question number 8. This question belongs to computer organization. Let's read the question. Consider an unpipelined machine with 10 nanosecond clock cycles which uses 4 cycles for ALU operations. Let's write here. For ALU operation in non-unpipelined or non-pipeline machine, or ALU operation will take 4 cycles and branches and branches also take four cycles whereas five cycles for memory operations for memory operation we will write five cycles assume that the relative frequencies of these operations are 40 percent 20 percent and 40 percent respectively so we can write 40 percent equals to 0 0.4 we can write like that then 4 cycle for ALU operation and it will take 0 0.4 then total will be around 1.6 similarly with the branch 4 cycles multiplied by 0 0.2 because it will take 20 percent then it will become around 0 0.8 then we have 5 cycles for memory operation and it will again for the 40 percent we will multiply 5 with the 0 0.4 it will become around 2.0 we will add these values and it will turn into 4.4 nanosecond and here in the first line you may see that an unpipeline machine it will take 10 nanoseconds clock cycles for one instruction it will take around 10 nanosecond and here we have calculated all the values it will be around 4.4 nanosecond in total 44 nanosecond will take in unpipeline machine for one instruction now due to clock squeeze and setup pipeline let us consider that the machine adds one nanosecond overhead to the clock here you can observe that we are setting up the pipeline for before that we are using unpipeline machine and now we are setting up to the pipeline machine here we are converting this unpipeline machine into pipeline and it will take additional one nanosecond overhead of the clock how much speed up is observed in the instruction execution rate in instruction execution rate when a pipeline machine is considered here we can see that to convert it into pipeline before that it will take only 10 nanosecond then 10 nanosecond plus one additional nanosecond it will become 11 nanosecond here we have two values 11 and 44 nanoseconds and we need to find out what speed up will be observed in the instruction execution when we are using a pipeline machine so how we can calculate the speed up how much it will take in unpipeline divided by how much it will take in the pipeline in the unpipeline we have already calculated it will take 44 nanosecond and it will divide by the 11 nanosecond is equals to 14 nanosecond that means it will take the four times of the unpipeline so the correct option for this question will be option number two four times